Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 is here, and oh my god, it's really fun! They did it! We won! So when the original Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl came out, there was much to be desired. A lack of voice acting and general content was bad enough, but the game didn't have some serious polish. It almost felt like a prototype more than a final product. While NASB eventually became better with time, the game's community abandoned it long before it reached that point. Well, not long passed before the release of Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2! If you're wearing skeptical, after the disaster of Bleah! I understand. But let me just say right now that this is pretty much everything you could have hoped for. It's not just an expanded version of the original. This is a full-on new game. It's what NASB should have been from the start. And while it sucks, we had to wait so long for that to happen. Better late than never. But what makes this sequel so good? Good? Well, the core gameplay is significantly smoother. The characters are given brand new moves, along with a ton more options to keep gameplay fresh. Not only that, but there's great voice acting, fun new mechanics, and even more content to justify the $50 price tag. The main event is online, obviously. But even then, All-Star Brawl 2 gives you a reason to play solo. My favorite addition is the campaign. You must stop Plasmius. You must find and defeat him in battle. It's this roguelike adventure where you unlock characters and abilities as you progress through different zones. It may not hold a candle to the legendary subspace emissary, but it's still a solid experience all around. I thought it was a nice bonus. Aside from that, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 feels like a genuine love letter to the source material, more so than the first game. There are way more references packed into this thing than you could count. The developers clearly did their research, even when it came to the less popular shows. If you're a fan of that classic era of Nickelodeon, chances are you're gonna find yourself smiling a lot while playing. Meanwhile, what I also like is that this game does not hold your hands. It may seem like just for kids because Nickelodeon, but I assure you, that is not the case. There are some seriously advanced techniques you can pull off here, many of which I can't talk about because I don't even know them. The game gives you enough tools where actual competitive Smash players can hop in and not be able to master it all right away. There's so much to do, so much to explore with these characters, and it works on a competitive level just as much as a casual one. But at the end of the day, this is a Nicktoons crossover fighting game we've been waiting for. Keep an open mind, give it a chance, and you might actually be surprised. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.